Apple recently released their first ever product in the virtual reality market, the Apple Vision Pro. Apple Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro is officially on the market. There are parts of this thing that are absolutely amazing. So this morning, I sit outside my local Apple store, trying to be one of the first people to get it. And for the next 50 hours, I'm gonna live life wearing the Apple Vision Pro with a list of things I wanna do while wearing it, starting right now. Triple click the digital crown for voiceover. So it has you look at your hands. Then make a big smile with your teeth showing. During the first hour, most of my time was filled with figuring out how to set up the I device. Can, well, okay, I didn't, guys, I didn't mean to do that. Once I finally figured it out though, I was able to try some of its features. Oh my God, I'm in Paris. I thought I recognized this area. While I was testing the features, my friend Jaden showed up to help me film. We tested things like FaceTime. Hey Siri, FaceTime Jaden. Were you smiling? I'm smiling right now. You like frown? Your smile looks weird. What the dude, that's so weird. After spending enough time playing with the Vision Pro, now, my ultimate goal is to win a Super Bowl. This is like the most narcissistic thing that could ever happen. I'm just sitting here projecting me on the thing. It was time to test some real world use with it. I feel like in all the videos I've watched where they've done something like this, it doesn't really address how awkward just leaving your own home feels and is. In order to see if I could catch a football in it, I called a few more friends to help me make it happen. Now Kyle is about to throw a dime, and I'm catching it first try. Let's go, baby. No question about it. <laughs> okay, a little bit harder. As it turns out, the answer was yes. You can catch a football and a frisbee while wearing the Vision Pro. But there was another question that needed to be answered. Could you drive a car with it on? Okay, this is for sure the worst idea I've ever had. Do not do this at home. That being said, I'm now going to attempt to drive around this parking lot. Oh you God. see that car, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a circle. You're gonna be able to do After successfully driving my car and catching a football and a Frisbee, I wanted to do something a little more simple. So I decided to take the Vision Pro on a walk. I am at the point where I'm like, 50 hours is starting to feel long. But it was on the walk that I began to want to take the Vision Pro off. Even like, as funny as it was to throw a football or a Frisbee with my friends, it's like, that's clearly not as enjoyable as if I were doing so without this on. But then again, I'm testing it outside. I don't know, maybe it's better indoors, but it just doesn't seem like super effective. When I was outside, my mind did not feel like I was in nature. And when I was talking to a person, I still felt disconnected from them, even though they were standing right in front of me. With these thoughts in mind, I decided to take a nap to reset my mind and re-energize myself. Cooking time. I'm gonna cook a nice fettuccine Alfredo. And in order to cook this, we went and we bought uh, groceries. And as you can imagine, walking around a grocery store in the Apple Vision Pro at 9.38 p.m. was an interesting experience, to say the least. It is so cool. It's kind of weird and cool at the same time. It's weird for me, too. I'm gonna get started. All right, so what I have here, cooked pasta in a large pot. Boom. The timer is now on the pot. It's pretty sick. We got our chicken bouillon. Melt one stick of butter over low medium heat. That's a lot of butter. Three, two, one. Boom. And just like that. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of insane. This is some good fettuccine Alfredo. I don't know if I would attribute it all to the Apple Vision Pro, but you can definitely cook with it on. After eating, I hung out with my friends again. But again, I found myself still feeling a bit disconnected. As I watched them play 2K and even attempted to play with them, I found myself longing to remove the headset. Eventually, I was tired enough to go to bed and get ready for the next day. It has almost been 24 hours. I didn't sleep great. I didn't sleep terribly, but I didn't see, sleep great. I just didn't really get a lot of sleep. There's a couple apps that I haven't tried yet, which I want to try. And then I want to I wanna get really good at Fruit Ninja. But first, I think I'm going to make, uh, make myself some eggs. When I finished my breakfast, I decided to try FaceTime again and called my parents. Is it like weird to like talk to me? Your mannerisms are you. I feel like I see your expressions. You, you definitely have a cartoonish look like a, an, an 
animated look to your face. But I kind of forgot about it then. Weirdly, this is like closest to home. Like I could FaceTime you and it wouldn't feel like this. Cause this is like a portal to where you are. It's so strange. After the call, I was ready to try out a few more Vision Pro apps. Oh, oh bro, chill, chill. While meeting dinosaurs in my very own bedroom was cool, I decided to try Fruit Ninja again. This time with a new lofty goal. I realized that because I was one of the very first people to get my hands on the Vision Pro, I also was one of the very first people to get to play Fruit Ninja on the device. Meaning, I could set the world record for the highest score in Fruit Ninja, and even if just for a short period, become the greatest Vision Pro Fruit Ninja player of all time. I'm the Fruit Ninja. Oh yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. the, and I lost. That's unreal, bruh. I, I hit them both, they like attached to my hands and then dropped to the floor. Well, I hadn't achieved the Fruit Ninja record yet. I did build up my appetite. And so my friend Ozzy picked me up to get food. After lunch, I met up with my friends at the beach. What do I think about Josh's challenge? Um, it's just not okay. You can't just let technology ruin everything. Like, he's not living in the moment. Look at this kid, he's total goober. The entire time. While I was able to play catch and spike ball with my friends pretty successfully, there was still a disconnect. Um, I think that the reality, the, the lines of reality and fantasy begin to blur. I think that people will uh, probably become lazy couch potatoes that don't want to get up out of their house. And if you have one of those, you're probably just ruining your life. With the Vision Pro on, I was not able to socialize as naturally. There was no eye contact, and it was hard to be taken seriously. The day was coming to an end, and I decided to walk down the beach to watch the sunset over the waves. But looking at it through the Vision Pro did not have the same effect. I'm 33 hours in, which puts me at roughly 17 hours to go, which is awesome. It honestly wasn't as bad. I was playing catch while watching the Celtics highlights, which is cool, but also, I don't know, it's a little bit weird. Like, playing catch, you should probably just play catch. You know, you don't need to be watching the Celtics while you do it. But I don't know, it's crazy. That might be where, where we're heading. And for good or for bad, it's, it's wild to think about. Life in the Vision Pro wasn't all bad, though. Oh, shoot. <laughs> After playing off-brand Beat Saber, I went to bed, knowing that there was only a few hours left of the challenge. Good morning, everybody. It is the morning of the final day. I shouldn't even say final day because we don't have much of a day left. We've only got three hours, not even two hours and 17 minutes until these come off and I'm done. But no, there's there's a job to be done. We're heading towards a record in Fruit Ninja. We gotta do something. I don't know if we're gonna get the number one record, but we're, we're putting something out there. Ready, go! I'm, I'm earning that title. Let's go! World record! World record! Oh my god, I'm there! <laughs> oh my goodness, look at it! I'm quite literally, statistically speaking, the best Fruit Ninja player in the world currently. Oh my God, look at that. After becoming the greatest Apple Vision Pro Fruit Ninja player to ever live, I reflected on the previous 49 hours in the Apple Vision Pro. The headset acted as a barrier between me and the outside world whenever I was wearing it. Nature wasn't as beautiful, and the conversations I held with my friends weren't as meaningful. Sure, it was cool that I was able to watch the Celtics play while throwing a baseball to my friend, but I'm not sure the ability to do that is a good thing. With all that said, it wasn't all bad. The technology is awesome. The FaceTime ability had me feeling closer to home and to my family than anything FaceTime on my phone could achieve. Does the Vision Pro have some faults? Of course. And for nearly $4,000, it would be hard to genuinely recommend the product to anyone. But the technology is magical, and it makes me incredibly excited to see what the future of AR and VR tech holds in store for us. With the Vision Pro off, I decided to return to the beach and watch the sunset again this time with my own eyes.
get a little hammer curl in. 